Hey guys, I'm Georgia. And I'm Josh. And welcome to this week's Patriot Platform. Today we'll be talking about Cousin News, entertainment, and both local and national trending topics. We'll be right back. Next, we'll head over to Jessica and Sam with this entertainment. Hello there, I'm Jessica here with your entertainment. Sam's my cameraman. Hi. Let's get started. To start it off, let's talk about the Oscars, which were held Sunday night. So one of the biggest winners of the night was Bohemian Rhapsody, which left with four Oscars for Best Actor, Best Sound Mixing, Best Sound Editing, and Best Video Editing. Lady Gaga also stole the show when she performed her original Oscar-winning song, Shallow. Um, some of the other winners were Black Panther and Into the Spider-Verse, so that's cool. Now let's discuss some celebrity drama that went down when we were on break. So, for those of you who don't know or don't care, but Kylie Jenner's best friend, Jordan Woods, has been kicked out of her house for getting a little too close to her sister, Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. That was a big sentence. She has since been kicked out of Kylie's home and is back home living with her mother. Um, and then it gets even deeper than that. Kylie's lip kit that was named after her has actually been reduced to half the price. That was like a little petty move. Um, and then actually some Kardashian sisters have unfollowed her on Instagram too. And that's all we have for today, guys. See you back in the studio. Wow, that was really interesting. Now let's discuss some trending topics. The Oscars were this past Sunday, and the film that took home the most awards that night was Bohemian Rhapsody, taking home four Oscars. And the superhero action movie, Black Panther, came in second with just three Oscar wins. Turns out a fan is responsible for bailing R. Kelly out of the Cook County Jail. The Sun-Times reports that the singer was released from the jail Monday after Valencia Love posted $100,000 bail. Jenna Jackson is heading to Las Vegas. The five-time Grammy Award-winning artist announced on Tuesday that she'll be launching her first ever Las Vegas residency in May, titled Metamorphosis. The show will begin on May 17th and will run until August. The, Mich the Michigan House Transportation Committee is showing some of the love to late Queen of Soul. The committee unanimously approved a bill sp sponsored by State of Detroit to rename a portion of the city's Lodge Freeway to Aretha Franklin. Love says this is a fitting tribute to Michigan's musical matriarch, daughter of Detroit, Queen of Soul, and the ambassador of RESPECT. And here's to Max with the weather. Hi everyone, I'm Max and I'm here with you ever. As you can see here, it is going to be cold. Very, very cold again. Um, if we get into the regional map now, as you can see, it, if any of you have any plans for this weekend, by the looks of it, it's going to be very snowy, so you may want to change your plans. And if we go on to the weekend forecast, as you can see, on, as you can see today, it is going, going to be cloudy and 35. Tomorrow is going to be 37, even more cloudy. And then on Sunday, it's going to be snowing again. By the way, any seniors that would like to leave their handprint in the gym tunnel can do so on Friday, March 8th at 10.30 a.m. The cost is $10. And also, don't forget that the Academy Awards are next week, Wednesday, March 6th at 7 p.m. Thanks for watching this episode of Patriot Platform. See you next week.